And we're back with Ron with another question from a member. Ron, can you talk about what you believe will be on the NDA when will we will be asked to sign? I, I've thought about that a lot. I've heard that it will last the NDA is good for 90 days. And I have, you know, manufactured in my mind a reason for only 90 days. Um, but what's on that has to do with where you got the money, how much you got, and, the, and those kinds of things. You don't tell people those things. Now, the NDA, who's the NDA for? It's to protect you. Who, who is there to protect by issuing you a, an NDA if it's not just you? The Alliance, the Alliance, they can't do anything to the Alliance. But see, the Alliance is only going to work with certain people who are humanitarians. So the humanitarians will get the NDAs. And people say, well, the RV started now. Well, who told you? The real RV, there would be no, you can't talk about it. It's an NDA. And the, the funds, will, if you talk about it, then there's there's remedies in the NDA that will be um, activated. And that means that you won't be able to use the money. It'll be frozen or withdrawn. I don't know. Not my business. So I, I believe there's certain things about the end day, but mostly what I think about it is that they're giving you the directions in the NDA to protect yourself. You don't talk about this and make that a habit. You don't, you manufacture some kind of reason why you have money. Now there's been people who have said, well, let's say it comes from uh, some kind of a universal reparations or something like this fund. And we're part of that. Well, how can I be part of it? Uh, I don't know if that's the best thing to do anyway. Uh, I My idea is that I would be, where'd you get the money? Well, I'm under an NDA and I'm not going to talk about that with you or anybody else. Well, I make it a habit that that's what I say. I have 90 days to make that habit and then live by it. So after the 90 days, uh, then maybe we don't have to worry about it anymore because we already have the habits that will protect us. You don't want to have a lot of people, to, you don't want people to know that you have a lot of money. Otherwise, they're going to be hitting you up for loans and all that sort of stuff. And that's inappropriate. So you don't talk to people. Well, they need, they don't need to know, period. Your directors of your CAC, they don't need to know where the money came from and who's got the money. They don't need to know any of that. Now, all the directors, I would put them under an NDA so they don't talk about stuff. I, I may come up with some headlines, might have some things for us to, to create an, an NDA for use with directors and other people in, in our structure that we want to have NDAs for. I think that might be appropriate. But again, I don't want to. When you get your funds from the alliance, you go through redemption and get your funds. You will have a a person who will talk to you about your activities. And they will help you to be sure that you don't mess up. It's a, it's a conversation you have. And that resource will help you to, to determine how much money you want to put in your savings account and a bunch of other stuff. But they will also help you with NDAs or those kinds of things. Oh, I could create an NDA, but is it for me or for other people? I, you know, people might want me to do that, but am I, if I give them an NDA and they, um, 
Am I crossing over dominions? That's their dominion. They got an NDA that that gave them the things that they need to do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be influencing them, or they want me to. But why should I? I'm crossing over into their sovereignty. I won't do that. If I sense that it's your sovereignty, then I, I'm just staying away from it. I don't want to get involved with it because that puts me under universal law, a violation of universal law. And the further I stay away from that, the better I will be. So there's all kinds of these decisions to make on what what, what I should do for loved one society. I should do this. I should do that. Uh, you know, we've even gone from contracts, getting away from contracts to agreements. Contract has penalties. If you break the agreement or if you break the contract, there's penalties that you have to suffer with. And agreement is I'm going to do this and you're going to do that. That's the that's wisdom of a um, memorandum of understanding. This is what I'm going to do, and that's what you're going to do. And we shake hands on it, and we just go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. Now, what if somebody breaks their – the alliance knows from the future that those people would do that, so they're not even going to give them the money to give them a chance to do that sort of stuff. And that's why they said take out the penalties out of that and don't use the concept of a contract. Use a memorandum of understanding and agreement. It's a simple thing to do. But it's a better way as far as the alliance is concerned. So NDAs, we won't know until we see one. And uh, your your counselor at your appointment will have an NDA for you to sign. I won't be involved in that because it's between you and your counselor and the alliance. And your counselor will be somebody that's significant to you. Might be a resurrected parent or something like this. See how it all works out. The one thing that we know for sure is that we are going to be loved beyond what we could understand. And in that love will be the fullness that we can live as human beings that are children of God, creating the things we want for our lives. And that will help us to move right up into the fifth dimension. That's what's coming. That's what's coming for each of us. So let's just really be excited about that. Really be excited about the fact that we're going to fulfill the fullness of our creation. No wavering. We are children of God. Creators in our own realms. I hope that helps. So with that... So with that as always, let's, Ron, let's, thank you so much for your welcome. wisdom and knowledge. And um, I believe, were those your closing remarks? Is is that something you yeah. want to yeah. no, That'll be good. Okay. And I know Dom had uh, something he wanted to add at the very end. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Dom. Thank you. Uh, actually, I just say thanks to everybody for your participation. and. Uh, appreciate that and please keep the, the questions coming to Ron for as long as he wants to answer them. Uh, please keep sharing those questions to us. And with that, Ron, I'll turn it back over to you for any final comments. Well, I feel like I'm finished with things. Uh, I've said my piece, uh, sending forth love and appreciation for the goodness that each of you have and are and the potential that you have to be the greatest humanitarians that uh, are working for God. It'll be a real fun time for all of us. So with that, I send you my love and blessings and and thank you all. Oh, thank you, Ron, Dom, and 
And we would like to say thank you. We are ending this wonderful series number 24. And we will be back next week with more questions from all of you. So God bless. Thank you.